And good evening and hello and welcome to the 2022 MoWIF Division Draw. My name is Josh Rogers and I am the commissioner of MoWIF. I want to first start off with thanking our amazing sponsors. So I'm going to go through these very quickly um, since we have so many amazing ones. So we have Feather Shark and we'll hear that name a lot as, long, as well as UCCSTL. We also have Public Schoolhouse, Promotional Consultants, between the Lines, Walk Off Bat Company, FGM Logistics, 27 Outs, Premier Baseball Academy, Game Time Tournaments, and McKillop's Tax Service. Thank you to all of our amazing sponsors who help us do what we do here at MoWIF. Uh, if you're watching this, then you probably know uh, we just had our uh, 2022 MoWIF draft. Uh, we had to redraft our entire league, so um, all of our captains are finalizing all of their contracts and sending them into the commissioner's office. So looking forward to all of those being sent in and seeing um, you know, how long all of our players have signed for. But uh, on to tonight for our division draw. We uh, didn't really have results um, from last year since we had our uh, redraft, and so we had to come up with another way to tier all of our teams. So... Uh, what we did, we had all eight teams, all eight captains. Um, they had a chance to rank all seven teams except for their own. And then we had, um, we uh, averaged out their score and that decided what tier they landed in. So in tier one, we have the Thunderbirds as well as the Mambas. So with both teams ending up with a both scary pitching staff and a lineup, it's no surprise that both of those teams ended up here. Um, so those two teams will be in different divisions as we get to the draw, but we will do that in just a second. We're going to go over all four tiers. Um, in Tier 2, we have the MoWiff Archers and the MoWiff Melonheads. Both of these teams have a scary 1-2 punch in their pitching staff and just missed out um, themselves on landing in Tier 1. It was a very close 1-4, uh, through four, so... Archers and Melonheads in Tier 2, and so those two teams will both obviously be in different divisions. In Tier 3, we have division foes from last year, the MoWiF Empire, my team, and the MoWiF Bombers. So um, both myself and Cam will be in different divisions, thankfully. Um, but the Empire, my team, we have a couple of new guys to fast pitch who will have to prove themselves. And Cam Smith and the defending champs will have a void to fill in their pitching staff as well in their lineup. So we'll see um, where Cam and I both land. And lastly, we have Tier 4. We have the Mojo and the MoWiff Pilots. So uh, Mojo, you know, they have the returning MVP from last year, Sam Skivvy, but the rest of their team is all new to our league. So they are a big unknown in how they will do. And the Pilots, formerly the Dingers, are all coming back to the same squad except for one newcomer to the league. Um, and as we know, Mo Whiff, the MoWiff Pilots are formerly the Dingers, um, struggled a little bit early on, but uh, fared well in the playoffs. So they are in Tier 4. So here's how this is going to work. I have both the Mo Whiff, Mo Whiff uh, Feather Shark jersey, All-Star jersey, as well as the Mo Whiff uh, UCC STL jersey. Thanks to uh, Jackson for never picking his up and missing the All-Star game. So I'm going to put those two jerseys in a bag. I will call a team name, and whatever jersey I pull out, that will be the uh, division they land in. So here we go. We're going to start with Tier 1, mixing the jerseys up in the bag. The MoWiff Thunderbirds, they are going to end up in the UCC STL division. So that means the Mambas will end up in the Feather Shark division. So I'm going to write that down real fast so I don't forget. Um, so... Let's see who lands in their division from Tier 2. So remember, Tier 2 we have the Archers and we have the Melonheads. So let's see where the Archers land. The Moloch Archers will end up with the Feather Shark Division. So they will be with the Mambas.
And that means the Melonheads will be in the UCC STL division along with the Thunderbirds. Moving right along to tier three with my team, the Empire, and Cam's team, the Bombers. Let's see where, let's go with the Bombers. Let's see where the Bombers end up. They are going to end up in the Feather Shark division. So that means my team, along with Melonheads and Thunderbirds, will be in the UCC STL division. And then lastly, we have tier four. We will start with the Mojo. Let's mix up the jerseys in the bag. And the Mojo will end up in the, once again, Feather Shark Division comes out first. So Mojo end up in the Feather Shark Division pilots in the UCC STL Division. So let's go over this real fast. Tier one, or uh, sorry, UCC STL Division will be the Thunderbirds, the Melonheads, the Empire, and the Pilots. Really excited to see how that division uh, shakes out. From the Feather Shark Division will be the Mambas, the Archers, the Bombers, and the Mojo. That is definitely going to be a tough division to be in. Um, glad I'm not in there. So uh, thank you to all of our sponsors once again. We have Feather Shark, UCC STL, Public Schoolhouse, Promotional Consultants, Between the Lines, uh, Walk Off Bat, FGM Logistics, 27 Outs, Premier Baseball Academy, Game Time Tournaments, and McKillop's Tax Service. Check out our 3 Up 3 Down podcast wherever you listen to your podcast as Cam Smith and Adam North will break down all the team's rosters and how they feel each division will shake out. Um, until next time, I am Josh Rogers. See you later.